Hello, uh, friend. Thank you for joining me this week in participating in the bundle of blessings and thankful challenge. I'm glad that you are here today. Um, I'm Tokwe from Hidden Treasures and Riches. Uh, we help Christian women renew their confidence, restore their relationships, and help them transform their trials into purpose. So this month is the second anniversary of publishing my uh, 90-day devotional, Weathering Storms, Finding Treasures in the Ruins. Um, recently, I published a companion thankful journal uh, to help you navigate the tough seasons of life and cultivate a heart of gratitude. So during the last five days, if you've been part of this challenge, you started a new habit, a new habit of growing in gratitude. And that is good. So why is gratitude important? Why do we need to, to express gratitude? Well, guess what? When you and I are going through rough times, it's very easy to focus on what's not working, what is wrong, all the problems, and guess what? We lose our joy. We just lose our joy. And in this current climate, with all that's going on, going on around us, many of us are struggling to maintain our inner peace. That inner peace is, is important to our well-being. And let me tell you, truth be told, stress, worry, and anxiety at all time high. So many people are struggling in this area. So you're not alone. Whether you are battling with sleepless nights, stress or worry, you're not alone. The purpose of this challenge is to get us to notice God every day and everywhere this week. So I hope you had a chance to notice, to see where God is at work, what he's doing in your life and all around you, to see what we can be thankful for. So instead of focusing on the problems, we can focus on what we can be thankful for. So let me ask you this. What are you thankful for today? What can you be thankful for? Um, do you have a pile of laundry on the floor? That means that you have clothes to wear. Um, do you have a child that's running around the house, um, just screaming, having fun, just running around the house? That means that you're blessed to be a mom. Are you able to pay your bills? Uh, so you pay your bills this month means that you have a job. That's something to be thankful for. Being able to laugh means that you're alive. Waking up this morning and going about your day, doing your day-to-day -day activities means that you are alive. It's a reason to be thankful. Um, you have family and friends who love you dearly and care about you. That's another reason to be thankful. Hey, friend, you are here at this um, child celebration tonight, you're not sick, you're not in the hospital, that's another reason to be thankful. So we could make a long list of things that we can be thankful for. We have so many reasons every day to be thankful. So friend, gratitude is a remedy for anxiety, tension, and worry. Thankfulness is like a soothing balm to the soul and it restores your joy. Thankfulness is like a soothing balm to the soul and it restores our joy. And guess what? Another reason why we need to be thankful, God commands you and me to be thankful, commands us to be thankful. Here's what he says in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, 16 to 18. He says, be cheerful no matter what. Pray all the time. Thank God no matter what happens. Did you catch that? Thank God no matter what happens. This is the day, this is the way God wants those who belong to Christ Jesus to live. So, apart from God's desire for us to be thankful, gratitude has so many benefits. Um, cultivating a heart of gratitude will improve your mood and your attitude, it'll give you more peace. You'll have that inner peace. You'll have a different perspective and be able to shift your focus. So instead of grumbling and complaining and whining, you'll be able to see from a different, look at the problem from a different perspective. you pay more attention. Hi, Siren. Thanks for joining. It's good to see you. Um, so you'll be able to pay more attention and appreciate the beauty all around you. It helps you. Gratitude helps you to lose your worry 
and fill your heart with joy. Who wants more joy? We all do. And gratitude helps us to get there. When we cultivate this attitude of gratitude, we have more peace and more joy in our lives. And guess what? The biggest benefit is that when you're going through a, a difficult season, having a grateful heart will help you to navigate that season well. Um, take it from me. I've, I've been there. So friend, the fact that you participated in this challenge this week is a cause for celebration. So give yourself a pat on the back uh, for participating on this challenge because you have just started a new habit, the habit of growing in gratitude. Um, so don't stop now. I encourage you to continue to use your thankful journal every day for the next 95 days. Write in it what you are thankful for, a song, um, a scripture, a friend, whatever that you are thankful for. And guess what? By the time we enter 2022, you will be way ahead of everyone else because guess what? You will, your heart will be filled with gratitude and you will be a blessing to others. So you'll have gratitude in your heart and you'll be a blessing. So you'll be ahead of the game. Um, so friend, we have to be intentional about gratitude so that when the storms of life come, guess what? We will be able to navigate those rough waters. Have you noticed what God is doing in fresh ways? Have you noticed? Have you seen what God is doing in fresh ways? Have you gained new perspective in the last five days? I hope you're taking notice and writing those things in your journal. Gratitude, my friend, is about trusting God, even when we don't understand what he's doing. And we don't understand all that's going around us. But as you and I exercise our gratitude muscles, guess what? Thankfulness will become as natural as breathing. So we exercise that muscle and our thankfulness will just become as normal as breathing. So let me tell you this. During a very difficult time in my life, gratitude helped me a lot. So I'm not telling you what I don't know. Uh, I've seen this work. Gratitude helped me a lot. I would pray and tell God, I don't understand what's going on. I really have no clue. But I thank him for all the ways that he is working behind the scenes that I cannot see. And that prayer, I repeated it probably a million times. That prayer helped me to stay anchored and give me inner peace. And that prayer helped me to weather that troubled season in my life. So you try it too. Just try being grateful, cultivating this attitude of gratitude. It will help you. So let me ask you this. In what ways are you willing to choose to turn uncomfortable moments in your life into thankfulness? In what ways are you willing to do that? So in closing, let us praise the Lord for his great love for us and the wonderful things that he has done in our lives. It's easy to focus on what's not working and on the problems, but when we turn and uh, look to God in gratitude, we reap so many benefits. The biggest benefits are your inner peace and joy. And I'm sure that you want that. So let us pray. Father, we just bless you for helping us to start a new habit of gratitude this week. You command us to pray and give thanks in everything. Thank you for your unfailing love towards us. Father, forgive us for the times when we grumble and complain. Thank you, Father, for healing all those who are sick. Thank you for giving favor for all those who are in need of financial blessings. And thank you for providing for us food, shelter, and all the basic amenities of life. We thank you, Father, for your amazing love for us. Please help us to continue to grow in gratitude every day. We love you, Lord. We bless you. And we pray with thanksgiving in the precious, powerful, and majestic name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Well, thank you again for joining me today. Thank you for participating in this uh, uh, um, bundle of blessings challenge. Uh, you can still order your thankful journal and you can grab your bundle of blessings in this. Uh, I will put a link in the comments after the, after the video. And I look forward to seeing you here again next week. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Thank you again, um, Deyang, for, for joining me. God bless you.